All right, so in this video, we're going to be uh, creating our tab bar controller. So um, the best way to create a tab bar uh, controller is to basically have its own uh, class uh, that can actually uh, basically contain all the code of tab bar creation and uh, uh, view controller setup. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go into our helpers and I'm going to create a new file and uh, we're going to touch uh, coco touch class or we're going to select coco touch class and uh, we're going to call this one tab bar okay and this is going to inherit from tab bar, ui tab bar controller okay so yeah we can call it tab bar view controller yeah there you go that's fine okay so uh, we need um, so tab bar uh, controller basically uh, contains all the tabs uh, that are going to be shown uh, in uh, in that in those tabs. Uh, so uh, in order to um, uh, get ourselves set up, uh, there are a few things that we're going to do. First of all, we need a tab or tint color. So we're going to uh, simply say tab bar and tab bar. Um, uh, property is uh, created within tab bar controller so if you go jump into definition you're gonna find that uh, there is a tab bar uh, open property that is created and you can actually set some of the properties for that so for example tab bar dot tint color you can define and we're gonna say ui uh, ui color dot label is what we want and then we want to call a function that's going to set up view controllers for us. So we're going to say set up view controllers. And this function does not exist here. So let's go ahead and create that. Before we do, we want to make this class final so um, it can speed up our compilation process. Um, and the, uh, we can indicate our compiler that this class is not going to be have any further inheritance so you can treat this as uh, a final class this helps in dynamic dispatch for the uh, method and function calls okay so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a private function we don't want to expose this uh, to uh, other classes and uh, here we're going to uh, basically have view controllers now view controllers is another uh, property that's part of the ui tab bar controller that's why we actually inherited from here so view controllers is basically an array of ui view controllers all the view controllers that are gonna take or that are gonna have tab within the tab bar okay so to start off we're gonna have an empty um an empty array okay and uh, that is gonna be our view controller then we're gonna have another private function create view controllers okay and this function is uh, gonna basically help us set up the uh, icon uh, for the tab and uh, icon symbol selected icon and uh, basically tab bar item and stuff like that so that's how you, that's that's why we are creating this so you can think of this as a convenience uh, function so we're gonna say for view controller ui view controller and how uh, we're gonna ask for title what the title for this tab is going to be and what's the system image uh, the icon basically that you want to use from the system image and this is going to return a ui view controller for us okay and what we're going to do here is uh, first we're going to create icon symbol okay and uh, we're going to say icon symbol is going to be ui image system name and we're gonna use the system name that's being supplied to us or system image uh, that's being supplied to us as a string okay so that's gonna be basically the icon symbol or uh, the symbol that is gonna be visible when it when it's not selected when it is selected we're gonna display selected symbol okay and we're gonna once again create a ui image and this time we're gonna choose uh the one that takes the system name and configuration so system name with configuration 
Okay, and uh, this is going to be basically system image. Okay, and uh, this configuration is going to be UI image dot symbol configuration. So we want to have symbol configuration, and what we are looking for is the weight. So we want to we want to make this font this image bold. So we want to say we want to have bold symbol okay when it is selected now next item we're going to create a tab bar item ui tab bar item and ui tab bar item takes title image selected image so we're going to select that so title image and selected image title is going to be the title that we have been passed in um and uh, image is going to be the icon symbol selected image is going to be selected symbol and then for the view controller we're going to say view controller that's been passed in to us dot tab bar item is equal to tab bar item that we have created right here okay and we want to return this view controller like so all right so um now in order to add this um add some of the view controllers to this we're going to create a couple of them so we're gonna need one for home. So we're gonna say home view controller. This is gonna come from UI view controller. Okay, gonna inherit from UI view controller. And uh, I'm gonna change this to basically inherit from base view controller. And uh, for now, we're gonna say background color. Uh, for example, this one is gonna have maybe orange. And uh, we're going to create another one uh, that is going to be a history view controller, which is going to show the run history. So history view controller. And um, once again, it's going to come from base view controller. Remove all the commented code. And uh, we dot background color is dot blue. Okay, just to uh, create a distinction between those two. And I'm going to come here and remove this guy right here. Okay, go back to your uh, helper tab bar view controller, and here we're gonna create two uh, view controllers. So we're gonna say create view controller for. So for is gonna first one is gonna be home view controller, title is gonna be run, and uh, the uh, system image. How uh, we're gonna use hair, um, and I'm gonna say run like that. Okay. So that's going to be the first one and uh, create view controller we're going to use history and create a history view controller and this one we're going to say run logs maybe or just logs okay for the system uh, image we're going to use clock okay all right see see these names uh these uh, system names are coming from sf symbol so if you Open your uh, SF symbol app in your Mac and uh, you look for hair, you're gonna find these symbols created there. So now we have our um, we have our tab bar ready to go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our um, scene delegate and uh, we're gonna I'm gonna remove this uh, whole temp code. I'm gonna recreate this. Okay. So um, we're gonna have our uh, home it's gonna be tab bar view controller okay and uh, this tab bar uh, view controller is basically our tab bar view controller right here right so that is uh, gonna be the instance of that and we're gonna say window dot dot root view controller is gonna be the home and um, then we're gonna say self dot window is equal to window that we created and window dot make key and visible like so okay so let's go ahead and launch this and there we go we have our tab bar created and as you can see um the symbol uh that we provided it created these two uh, tabs with the image hair and clock so 
these are going to be our view controllers that we're going to be um, uh, using and populating with like you know their own um, views and stuff but uh, but yeah uh, so this is how you can create a tab bar uh, view controller within your app programmatically um, now uh, coming down to the next video what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some uh, helper views uh, so uh, we're gonna need basically a gradient view which is gonna uh, become the background uh, for our view controllers and we're gonna basically uh, set that gradient view inside our base view controller so um, every view controller that's inheriting from that uh, just gets that background view and uh, then uh, we're gonna start designing our home view controller okay so that's how we're gonna proceed all right so i'll see you guys in the next video